Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of EverQuest 2 News. I'm your host Andrew Zark and here are today's top stories. Our top stories today are the launch of Visions of Atrovia, tips and tricks, upcoming events, ongoing events, and server updates. Stay tuned for all the news. Visions of Atrovia has released today and here is what you can expect. Skills that depend on other stats have been removed. They will now give a scaling percentage of the stat they would have changed. Every class has some sort of change to their skills, but most importantly, recovery speed has been removed from the game. Some visions of Atrovia Weeklies will give ethereal trackers, so if you didn't catch up in time, all is not lost. Many trade skill upgrades and quality life changes have been added to the game, including Blueprint, which allows instant crafting and purchasing of 800 stack fuel. Raid releases will be staggered. Garupa Jungle and Mangavi Waste will be released first on December 15th. Forlorn Geist and Castle Vacral raids will be released January 5th, January 26th, and February 16th. Here at EQ2 News, we want to let you know about everything that you can do in EverQuest 2. So here are a few tips and tricks you might want to know. Banning someone is not something that Dark Paul takes lightly, and it's rare that the ban hammer comes down accidentally. But yesterday was one of those exceptions. If you were banned yesterday, myself included, check your account to see if you can log in, as many bans were lifted. Dark Paul did not mean to ban many players, and I've been sure that there is an investigation underway. Upcoming events include the following. The New Halley City Festival, December 1st through the 8th. And Frostfell, December 7th through January 1st. Ongoing events include the following. TOV crates, get yours while they last. Software cursors are now customizable. If you have the software cursor enabled, you can now choose a color tint for the cursor. You will now get a notification on your mini-map that will tell you when you have claimable items. You can earn your extra prestige points in VOV now, but if you are already maxed out, you will not get any more. Stat reforging has been removed from the game, but you can still reforge appearances. Infusing has been removed from the game, and almost all infusers will turn into temp adornments. Mercenaries have had many quality of life improvements, including a surge, battalion buff stats displayed in the mercenary window, and better AI with mercenary resing. All Dwarven Battle Rangers have been consolidated to have the same buff, and they also dropped from the 5 hour crate in Samvari Expanse. There have been upgrades to personal and guild depots, increased the size of the depots, and craftable spell and house item depots that you can have in your house. House actors can now be set to the Vashir race if you own the required expansion, and there is a known bug with VOV house items that will be fixed in a later patch. Details are listed above. The new trade skill timeline will start with a message in the mail from Captain Ethan Durrani. New trade skill weekly and daily quests are available from Rimfrey and Igor in Rimfrey's basement. Prom Flint Knuckle in Savari Expanse offers a quest, How Broken Shore Bay Got Its Name, which will open up more content. The Visions of Atrovia guide quest will be available at launch and at intervals afterwards. In the quest Knock the Fight Out of Them, you can no longer ruin orc objects that you've already ruined. In the Scrivenger's Tale follow-up friendship, the catalog spell will no longer cause targets to become aggressive. Repeatable trade skill orders will now give guild status above level 100. Hold the flint blade now checks to see if you're level 120 trade skill before she offers you the ROS timeline. All adornments are now no value and they cannot be sold to vendors. Damage conversion items will now affect all damage done including auto attack damage, ammo type damage, and pet damage. Energy inverters are now tradable and cannot be resisted so let's get some on the broker. A new flag for requires equip has been added. Some items and all adornments are now requires equip. Adornments can no longer be applied in combat. This will make swapping immunity adornments impossible during a fight. Kite shields have now been named Kite Shield with a space. That Empos will sell heirloom items to adventurers who achieve certain triumphs. Starting with Visions of Atrovia, familiar stats will increase differently. Familiar stats will increase at 1% per level, down from 5%. Rechannel Fire has been updated to give a scaling potency buff instead of being a stat conversion based off of your crit bonus. There is now a fighter wary protection effect on items. This applies to shields, offhand weapons, and two-handed weapons. This effect will increase the defense capabilities of the item. This only works on current content that the item is from and all previous content. The defense effect will work less effectively in future content. Trade skill fuel stacks have increased from 200 to 800 per fuel stack. Trade skill blueprinting is here and allows you to instantly craft things. The requirement is 20% more non-primary resources and fuel. The other requirements are to be level 125, a member, have crafted the item at a pristine level before, and check the blueprint box. The group of jungle raids will come out December 15th. The Mangabi Waste Raids will come out December 15th as well. Forlorn Geist Raids come out January 5th. Castle Vacral Thirst for Power comes out January 26th. And the Castle Vacral Haunting Presence comes out February 16th. The Shady Swashbuckler will provide a replacement for a disassembled star key if needed. 
The guild buff's crit chance calculation will now scale with level instead of increasing your crit chance by your crit chance. Final Judgment will no longer critically apply or be modified by the caster's stats. Recovery speed has been removed from the game and casting speed and reuse speed will replace instances of the stat. Enhanced Vigor will now scale by level and is not based off other stats. Enhanced Vigor also applies to pet at a lower rate. An issue has been fixed that prevented effects that limit max damage from decrementing. Balanced Synergy now provides a scaling benefit and an issue was fixed that made it last longer than it should have. Damage reduction effects that cap max damage should now display correctly. Several stat conversion effects have been updated to grant scaling benefits. The base value of abilities over 121 have been set to 35. Updated accuracy from strength, power from the soul, and vitality to strength to base its benefit on being in combat. Effects that state they modify profession abilities, spells, or combat arts will no longer apply to item granted effect. Updated weapon of the mind to give a scaling weapon damage buff instead of a stat conversion from weapon damage to potency. Updated modified strength to give a scaling ability modifier buff instead of a stat conversion from primary attribute to ability modifier. When a dispel is applied to a maintain effect, it will cancel that effect on the caster, therefore canceling it for the rest of the group. Increase the damage scaling above level 120 for many abilities. This is separate from the base 35% scaling level increase. Summoner pet classes will now apply casting animations. Glacial Freeze will no longer reduce the level of the target, and encounters that depended on this mechanic have now been adjusted. For Dirge, Battlecry has been updated to give a scaling potency buff instead of a stat conversion. For the Defiler and Shaman, Ancient Pedigree and Spirit Companion will now apply to the pets. Virulence now performs its use passively. Fixed a bug with Spiritual Ally that kept it from applying to the pet correctly. For Mystic, Ravenous Protector now applies to the pet correctly and provides less crit bonus. For Troubadours and Dirges, Requiem now gives a scaling weapon damage buff. For Troubadours, Jester's Ruse's Multiplier has been reduced to 14.55 and Energizing Ballad now gives a scaling potency buff. For Illusionists and Coercers, Aura of Power now may trigger once every 6 to 12 seconds and has no trigger count. For Coercers, Enraging Demeanor will now work as intended and will increase the stats at level 121. Lethal Focus and Enhanced Mind's Eye will both give a scaling fervor overcap bonus. Peaceful Link will no longer apply hate reduction to fighters. Sign of Intellect will grant ability to double cast when cast above level 120. Velocity will now upgrade at 123. For all fighters, Bone Shattering Combination, Earth Shock, and Vital Trigger will no longer terminate at 4 increments. They will instead stop casting until the effect wears off and then will begin the reuse timer. For Monks and Bruisers, Bone Shattering Combination now provides a scaling crit bonus buff. Devastation Fist Multiplier has been reduced to 132.272 with a .5 variance over level 110. Hateful Defiance will give a scaling HP buff instead of a stack conversion. For Monks, Dragonfire has been changed to have a negative 2.8 multiplier with a negative 1.4 reoccurrence multiplier and a .05 variance. Tranquil Power will give a scaling max HP buff instead of a stack conversion. For Shadow Knights and Paladins, Crusader's Judgment will also cure hostile effects from the caster. The base reuse time of Divine Aura has been lowered from 300 to 210. Fearless Morale will now apply its fear immunity to the group. Paladins, Castigate will dispel 50% more when cast above level 120. Crusade will increase the fervor of both priests and fighters if cast above 120. Base casting time of Divine Aura has been reduced to 1 second. Base reuse time of Ancient Wrath has been reduced to 24 seconds. The base reuse time of Divine Favor has been reduced to 180 seconds. Base reuse time of Stonewall has been reduced to 60 seconds. Holy Aid will now increase all mitigations when cast above level 120. Holy Ground will be upgraded at level 125. The base damage of Consecration has been changed from 3.6 to 12.6. Increase the base duration of Faith from 3 to 6 seconds. Increase the base health increase of Blessing of the Paladin from 0.05 to 0.5. Increase the cure amount of cure spells. Increase the damage of Holy Ground from 2.2 to 6.2. Increase the potency and fervor scaling of Wrath Stance. Raid Armament will now provide Arcane as well as Physical Mitigation. Resolute Faith will now upgrade at level 125. Divine Wall will give a scaling max HP buff. Death March 2 and Death March 3 will be given automatically at the appropriate level. Earth Shock will give a scaling potency buff. Shadow Wall will give a scaling HP buff. Guardian and Intercept can now be cast separately, but cannot stack. Focused Offensive will also grant Flurry Multiplier. Measured Blows will remove a double reduction in ability double cast. Earth Shock will give a scaling potency buff. Critical Rage will give a scaling HP buff. Berserk will give a scaling crit bonus buff. Templars and Inquisitors for Divine Guidance and Equilibrium cannot be interrupted. Group Reactive Heals will no longer expire if one person uses all of the stacks. 
The following skills have been made uninterruptible for Inquisitors. Tenacity will give Flurry and Flurry Multiplier. Weapon damage from Tenacity scales better at high level. Evidence of Faith no longer expires when a single target consumes all triggers. Increase the base combat reduction of Condemn. Malevolent Diatribe no longer expires when a single target consumes all triggers. Perseverance of Divinity no longer expires when a single target consumes all triggers. Updated the ability double cast increase of Casting Expertise to level scaling value. Battle Prowess now grants weapon damage bonus and DPS. Many of the Templar skills have been made uninterruptible. They're listed above. Egloism will give the weapon damage increase. Beneficence no longer expires if a single target consumes all triggers. Decrease the base reuse time of Sanctuary to 140 seconds. Holy Intercession will no longer expire when a single target consumes all triggers. Increase the base combat mitigation reduction of Allstruck. Increase the base combat mitigation reduction of Sign of Pacification. Increase the base damage of Blaze of Faith from 4.8 to 7.8. Increase the base damage of Divine Smite from 4.2 to 11.2. Increase the base damage of Divine Strike from 12 to 13.9. For Beast Lords, Beast Skull will increase the Flurry and Flurry Multiplier when cast above 120. Feral Stance will now scale its Fervor to increase at higher levels. Hawkeyes will now scale its Crit Bonus and Potency to increase at higher levels. Increase the base damage of Claw of the Katisha from 60 to 88. Increase the max triggers of Sharpened Claws to 3 when cast from above level 120. Increase the mitigation granted by Savage Ruin above level 120. Increase the potency scaling of Kaldahir's leadership above 120. Increase the potency scaling of Shalimar's mandate above 120. Noxious Assault will now scale its crit bonus increase at higher levels. Sharpened Claws will now scale its melee attack and cannot be avoided. Tame Warder and its variations will now provide specific feedback about why a target cannot be tamed. True Spirit Claws will grant base auto attack damage when cast above 110. True Spirit Claws will grant weapon damage when cast above 110. True Spirit Claws will now scale its DPS increase at higher levels. Primals use Scout Melee Attack Multiplier tables instead of a flat add one table. Wanderer's Ferocity will now scale its crit bonus and crit bonus overcap and increase at higher levels. Adjusted the scaling curve of distracting shots fervor decrease at all levels. Decrease the base reuse time of distracting shot from 210 to 180. Decrease the base casting time of downpour from 2 to 1.4. Decrease the base reuse time of downpour from 60 to 50. Increase the base damage of downpour from 19 to 22.5. Decrease the base casting time of Barrage from 3 to 2 seconds. Decrease the base casting time of Precise Volley from 3.1 to 2.7. Increase the base reuse time of Precise Volley from 380 to 340. Decrease the base casting time of Salivarous Invocation from 3 to 2.6. Decrease the base casting time of Vector of Life from 3 to 2.4. Increase the base healing of Vector of Life from 12 to 18 when cast at level 120 or above. Increase the base range of Vector of Life from 10 to 30. Decrease the base casting time of Vengeful Arrow from 3 to 2. Essence Weave will now scale its max hit point percent increase at higher levels. Hawkeye will now reduce the base casting times of Barrage and Vengeful Arrow in 1.6 seconds. Increase the base damage of Construct Sacrifice from 10.89 to 14.31. Increase the base damage of Healing Arrow from 1.2 to 2.4. Increase the base duration of Sanctuary of Darkness from 5.5 to 15. Increase the base healing of True Spirit Restoration from 8 to 25. Increase the base ward of Siphon Protection from 120 to 160. Increase the maximum stone skin triggers of Tesla's Shell to 20 when cast above level 120. Increase the range of Salborous Invocation 20 to 30. Sanctuary of Darkness will now dispel hostile Root Stifle Stun Fear Daze and Mesmerize effect when cast. Swift Aid will now scale its max hit point percent increase. Accomplice will grant scaling fervor instead of potency above 120. Added the ability to perforate at 120 that will upgrade perforate at 125. Added the ability Vital Strike at 120 will upgrade at 125. Amazing Reflexes will grant scaling strike through when above 120. Amazing Reflexes will upgrade at level 125. Deceit will grant flurry multiplier when cast above 120. Deceit will upgrade at 125. Desperate Thrust will decrease combat mitigation on targets. Entangle will now decrease combat mitigation on target encounter instead of individual targets. Partners in Crime will grant Scaling Fervor instead of Potency if cast above 120. Shenanigans no longer reduces the defense and parry skills when cast. Thieves Guild will upgrade at level 125. Advanced Warning will increase ability double cast when cast above 120. Bravado will increase weapon damage bonus and weapon damage bonus overcap when cast above level 120. Cocky Maneuver will increase duration based off the spell tier. Daring Advance will now scale its fervor increase at higher levels. Dazzle will grant combat mitigation reduction. Double Cross will increase combat mitigation reduction 
Increase the curve of stamina bonus granted by Blade Weaver. Increase everything granted by Cocky Maneuver. Marauder's Vaunt will also increase the fervor overcap of raid members when cast above 120. Ruthless Cunning will grant base auto attack increase when cast above 120. Smuggle will now grant its crit bonus increase to the group. Swarthy Deception will increase base auto attack damage when the of the target and caster when the cast above 120. Swarthy Deception will increase flurry multiplier of the target and the caster when cast above 120. Swarthy Deception will increase the flurry of the target and caster when cast above 120 as well. And Swarthy Expertise will increase the ability double cast granted by the cocky maneuver. For Troubadours and Dirges, the Spell Reflection effect has been removed from Wayfarer's Watch. For Mystics and Defilers, the Spell Reflection effect has been removed from Immunities. Phew, that was a lot. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, or follow if you enjoy the content. Also, here's some other videos you might find interesting. If you'd like to support my work, please consider donating, buying some merchandise, or join Patreon. Thanks.